What's up guys? It's Kayla and welcome back to my channel for some more Otome games. Today we are going to be playing Star Crossed Myth. And yes, I know if you have been a long time subscriber, you would know that I actually used to have a Voltage dedicated channel back in the day that was my first Kayla's Lovely channel and it got taken down by Voltage. But that was a long time ago, okay? That was like before the girls got rights and I feel like we can play Osme games online now and not get bashed for it if we're adding commentary and we're not just straight up pressing through the game, not saying a word. So I feel confident to play at least just one route of this game and I think I'm going to be going for Leon because he is my favorite and I haven't played him in a very long time so I wanted to play it together with you guys and get your guys' take on Leon because the first character I actually ever played was Scorpio and I loved him so much. Um, I've also played Dewey, Tio, Hugh. He was another, oh, he was another one of my favorites. He's in like the top right of the screen. But I played Leo and I didn't think I would like him and I fell in love. So let's fall in love all over again. Let's get started. It's the evening of July 6th. Okay, I finished writing my wish. The planetarium where I work is hosting an event for the Star Festival tomorrow, July 7th. All that's left to do is pray for clear skies tomorrow. It's cloudy right now, but please let the skies clear up for the Star Festival tomorrow. This game makes me want to work at a planetarium so bad. It looks so fun. As I pray, I happen to notice something glowing outside the window. Is that a shooting star? I run out on the balcony, but the sky is cloudy as ever. Oh yeah, the stars are blotted out by the city lights. <sighs> I'd never be able to spot a shooting star. Just then, another dazzling light catches my eye. My head snaps up. Far, far away in the sky, a big light is racing straight for me. W what Is that thing headed this way? It looks like it's going to crash right into me. Terrified by the blinding light, I squeeze my eyes shut. That instant, the light hits me. Uh, what? What in the world just happened? Did I just die? Was that a meteor? When I open my eyes, I'm greeted by the sight of my own familiar room. Ah, I'm alive, thank God. Oh, but what about the window the meteor hit? Ah, oh, Leon! Okay, I forgot they come so early. I can't even remember the prologue of this game. It's been so long. That wasn't a meteor. Huh? I don't know that voice. I look up to find six men standing around me. What? What are these people doing here? And what's with their clothes or costumes? What, what are you people? And what happened to the meteor from before? <laughs> look, look, Dewey. This is Earth. Ugh, I can't believe we were actually exiled. Jeez, I was praying up until the last minute that the king was only joking. That was naive of you, Tio. You shouldn't hold out hope for mercy from the king, for your own sake. Trespassers! I'm calling the police! The man with a mean look in his eyes glances at me before looking around the room. Tch, what a hobble. This is Scorpio. He's the first one that I played, and his route is so good. A hobble? I don't need this irritation. I'm leaving. Scorpio? Wait, Igathus, let's follow him. Tch, he really doesn't want to have anything to do with humans. I watch on in bewilderment as the three men with black armbands disappear out the window, leaving me behind. How? This is the fourth floor! Two remaining men with white armbands continue talking amongst themselves. So the black armbands are the Department of Punishments, and the white armbands are the Department of Wishes. So on the Switch, I purchased the Department of Wishes, but there's actually a second set for the Department of Punishments. This is like a really long list of allies in this game so i think there's 12 for all of the zodiacs and potentially some secret routes too i honestly can't remember scorpio still knows how to make his words sting some things never change ignore him heal of course i will i don't have any interest in engaging with him typical scorpion oh yeah and the departments don't really seem to like each other that much they have like a good brotherly feel sometimes but they also kind of hate each other i don't know scorpion what are they talking about I don't care how much of a hovel this place is, he should watch his tongue. 
Hey, you just said something pretty mean yourself, Hugh. Y yeah, what is all this about, anyway? When I look up to glare at the man called Hugh, his beautiful eyes meet my gaze. Ah, uh, I love Hugh's route so, so much. He's like, I don't know if he would be the true route. I don't know. Hugh? It's nothing. Did he just look away from me? Regardless of whatever's going on here, that's rude. Aw, that's no way to treat a lady. Now it's the man with a kind smile and princely aura turning to approach me. He slowly brings his face closer to mine. When we make eye contact, his eyes go wide, just like the other man's did. You... you have stars in your eyes. Excuse me? Oh? Another man, who until now had been standing in the back with his arms crossed, moves languidly walking up to me. I see, so that means you're... What is up with this guy? He gives off such an intimidating vibe. I'm scared. Leon, you're getting too close to her. Stars in her eyes. Now I'm interested. What is all of this about? I I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> the police? Hilarious. We're gods. <gasps> gods? The gods who rule the stars. Does that ring a bell? I don't understand at all. What are they? Stars? Gods? Oh, could they be? Do you mean the princess of the stars? Is that like a thing in Japan? The princess of the stars? I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that. Anyway, please come with us. Actually, you must come with us. It's your destiny. Y you've got to be kidding me. Gods? Princess of the stars? You don't believe us, but you just wished on a star. Ch true, I did, but... Wait a minute, wait a minute. How does this guy know that I wished on a shooting star? Please let the sky clear up tomorrow. I didn't even say that out loud. Anyway, if you don't hurry and get out of here, I'll report you to the police. You're only a human, yet you dare refuse the gods. D don't come any closer. His beautiful eyes hold overwhelming power that demands to be obeyed, and I freeze. What a noisy woman. Refusing us was never an option. I'll personally make you understand. That shouldn't be so bad, hmm? The man called Leon laughs condescendingly as his long fingers slowly trace a line down my cheek. <gasps> Don't be afraid. Wow, I never would have thought you'd touch a human, Leo. This is just a little entertainment. It should be fun. Jeez, what are you planning on doing? Oh yeah, so each of them also have a special god ability. And I'm sure you'll soon find out what Leon's is. I'm simply going to make her understand our power. That's all. Leon pulls his fingers away from my cheek. Snap. The next instant, my body is floating in midair. In the blink of an eye, I'm out the window. My body floats in the night sky. Let me down, please. Aw, oh, Tokyo looks so beautiful. I really wish I could travel there. I could, but do you really want me to let you down now? <laughs> He's right. I'd fall headfirst to the ground. Never mind. Don't drop me. There's no need to yell. I have no intention of letting you go just yet. But, but... I could let you live or die, depending on my mood. I don't think it would be very wise for you to yell any further. Uh, this has to be a dream. Flying through the sky? This is just too crazy. Unconcerned with my bewilderment, Leon takes me by the waist and pulls me closer. He gracefully takes my hands and walks off, leading me across the sky. Walks through the sky. That's an interesting way to put it. It's like the two of us are taking a stroll in midair. We're going up a little higher now. He whispers in my ear before moving his big hand to softly cover my eyes. I can't see. His words have been harsh, but his touch is quite the opposite. The hand that blocks my vision is gentle. I feel my pulse quicken. Why is my heart racing? It's because I'm scared to be in the sky like this, right? Suddenly, I can see again. A star-filled sky and a beautiful view of the city below spreads out before my eyes. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is like a dream. So, you forgot about your fear when I showed you something beautiful. 
What's the most beautiful thing you see right now? He whispers quietly in my ear, and I answer, The city lights, the stars, Elyon. <laughs> I want to say you. You. What did you say? Crap. Mesmerized by his beautiful face, I accidentally say what I'm really thinking. Are you trying to flirt with me? Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that if you want to win me over. He laughs a little, and he doesn't seem to be displeased with my comment. Honestly, though, I've never seen anything this beautiful before. Then, have you decided to believe? Believe? You mean believe that you and your friends are gods? What else would I mean? I'm lucky to be having such a beautiful dream, so... If this is a dream, I can believe you're a god. A dream? What a self-serving human thing to think. Huh? Well, fine. Now that you believe we're gods. The next thing you need to do is be a good girl and follow me. Come with me. Follow you? To put it in human terms, you need to have faith. It's up to you whether you follow me or not. What does that mean? Well, it's time for some entertainment. I hope it's enjoyable. He says one corner of his mouth curling up into his smirk, and he touches my eyes. Suddenly, I feel my body drop. What? Hey! You're a foolish human to refuse a god. We'll meet again. And when we do, you'll say that you'll be mine. Wait, I'm falling! I'm Leon, ruler of Leo. Remember my name. I didn't ask for your name! Save me! No! <sighs> when my eyes fly open, the sight of my own familiar ceiling pops into view. It, it was a dream! But it felt so, so real. I feel like I can still remember the sensation of falling from that great height. Puzzled, I get up and realize that my window is open. Did I forget to close it last night after I saw that shooting star? Wait, did I dream that shooting star? How much of what happened was real and how much was a dream? Anyway, TV, TV, I have work, I need to get ready. When I turn on the TV, what was the origin of the mysterious light? A UFO? A meteor? The news is on. Is this footage of my neighborhood? The buildings they're showing are really close by. Whoa! When did it get this late? I don't have time to relax and watch TV. But wait, I need to check my horoscope for the day. Has the number one horoscope of the day. You just might meet someone special at work. That's me! I could meet the man I'm destined to be with. I'm a Taurus, by the way. What are your guys' star signs? Please put it in the comments below. I'm super into astrology. Oh, and if you happen to know your rising and moon or your Venus or anything else you want to put in the comments, you do that. Today is the star festival. Maybe I really will have a fateful encounter. I quickly get ready to go to work, turn off the TV, and leave. When I arrive at the planetarium, I get to work right away. I also love the music in this game. What do you guys think of it? My best friend at work, Kiori, walks up and starts talking to me. Good morning, Kayla. Kiori, you're here early? Yeah, I came early since there's so much to do for the Star Festival event. Opening the roof and having people decorated with their wishes is a good idea. If only we could see the stars, that would be amazing. Yeah, but it's impossible in Tokyo. The city lights are too bright. I know. The view of the city and the stars I saw last night were beautiful, though. View? Stars? Wait, no, what am I thinking? That was only a dream. Sorry, I'm talking about a dream. Jeez, Kayla, you love stars so much you even dream about them? I can't deny that. That reminds me, my sign got the best horoscope of the day. I'm supposed to have a fateful encounter. That's awesome! Maybe you'll hit it off with someone at the event. While we're having fun chatting, customers start lining up. I take the tickets with Hiori and my other co-workers. Welcome to the planetarium! Enjoy the stars! Look! I wrote down my wish! After you enjoy the stars, you can hang your wish on the roof. Who grants these wishes? The stars do. If you wish as hard as you can, I bet they'll grant yours. You really did get a job here just because you love the stars, didn't you? Hey, you two, the show is about to start. Okay. We make sure there are no customers left and move on to our next task. 
That evening, everyone is enjoying the Star Festival event on the roof. I want to put my wish up high. Mommy said the wishes up high get granted first. Me too, me too. Okay, how about here? After hanging up the children's wishes, I inconspicuously remove my own wish from my pocket and hang it nearby. I'm too old to actually believe that the stars can grant wishes. But I'm at a star festival event. I might as well make the most of it. You make for a lovely scene, surrounded by all these wishes. You truly are a goddess. I turn around at the sound of a voice and see someone standing in the darkness. Hey, what's up with those three? Those costumes are incredible. Are they part of the star festival event? Oh my god, they're all super hot. A part of the event. I didn't hear anything about that. Besides, I feel like I've seen these three before somewhere. Yeah, your dream, quote unquote. I find myself taking a step back. The three men don't even glance at the other people. They walk right up to me. Don't be frightened. I know we didn't make a very good impression last night, so... I'd like another chance at a first impression. Because I want your heart to belong to me and only me. Huh? Dewey, let me say hello, too. We finally meet, goddess. I'm Ichthys, ruler of Pisces. An innocent smile spreads across his face as he tenderly takes my hand. I've played his route as well. He's super cute. What? Did he just say g -g goddess What does he mean, finally? His hand, it's freezing. Uh, um, I think you've got me confused with someone else. There's no one else with eyes that beautiful. Okay, I don't know if this is like something I only noticed when I got the Switch version, but in certain expressions that Ichthys makes, his eyes are blue, but they're gray all of the other times, and I don't recall them ever turning blue when I was on the mobile app. Maybe I'm just crazy though. If anyone knows about that, please let me know in the comments. You're the goddess I've been searching for. I hear girls squealing. This is so romantic! Is the Star Festival themed proposal? Is this a TV show? Are we being filmed? Unconcerned with the noisy onlookers, he slowly lowers his lips to my raised hand. Oh my god, is this a fateful encounter my horoscope mentioned? Just when I think his perfectly formed lips are going to touch my hand. Hey, Ichthys, quit playing around. I'm going to be sick if I have to hang around this disgusting place much longer. I turn around to see a tall, thin man walking towards me. That hateful way of speaking. I've heard it somewhere before. Oh yeah, he was the one who rudely called my apartment a hovel in my dream. Wait a minute, now that I get a good look at you, you were all in my dream. Uh-huh, did she not recognize us until just now? And did she just say dream? I wish something wonderful would happen. When I turn around, the rude man is holding my wish and reading it. Oh, how embarrassing. Stop! Tch, how absurd. I don't make a habit of listening to human wishes. But why don't you try me? Tell me some of your ridiculous human wishes. Hey! I want to live in a big house. I want to be rich. I want to be beautiful. I'm a god. I could grant any of those wishes easily. God? So come with me. Serve me. What are you talking about? Granting human wishes is our job. Don't stick your noses where they don't belong. When I turn around, I see that the three familiar men have appeared out of thin air. Look, look, those guys are hot too. Wow, are they actors? They're too good looking to be normal people. No, this isn't a part of the event. All of the people, however, and probably Hiori too, think this is part of the event. I can't believe you guys were able to track her down. I guess this is what they mean when they say you can never be too careful. What? In that case, you guys are in the wrong for not telling me about the goddess. We do as they say, have a shared destiny, right? I know we were the ones who hightailed it out of that apartment. All of these guys were in my dream. What does this mean? Could I still be dreaming? Hello? Why are you looking away when we're right in front of you? That makes me sad. Uh, um... You and Leo talked all night last night. How about you and I have some fun tonight? The man walks up elegantly and drapes his arms around my shoulder, pulling me to him. L let me go! So, when you said, I wish something wonderful would happen, could that something be something like this? 
His arms still around me, the man snaps his fingers, then something that resembles stardust begins to fall, sparkling from the sky. Wow, it's beautiful! Mommy, it's raining stars! This is fantastic! I can't believe all of this is included in the event! I want to play a princess, like that lady over there! You're wrong, I wish I could tell them that this just isn't a part of the event. See that? Something wonderful happened right away. Now why don't you come with me? W wait a minute, why is this face so close to mine? You're flirting with the human too much, Taurus. The other man casually pulls me away from the one he called Taurus. Okay, so I know they call him Tio for short later in the game, and that's not how you spell Taurus, but I'm not sure if that's just... I don't know another way to say it. T Tiortis? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Taurus. Or Tio. It's nice to meet you. Huh? Um... I'm Hugh Hot. Okay, that's the other thing. I've always played this game by myself, so I just like say their names how I say them, and I could be saying them totally wrong, but I think it's Hugh Hot. Hugh Hot? I don't know. Ruler of Aquarius. I hope we get to know each other better. All of their nicknames are easier to say. Hugh. Hugh and Tio. Aquarius? Like the sign? Is he talking about astrology? Why did he bring that up all of a sudden? And if you're not okay with something, be frank with me and say so. Uh, okay. You've always been like that, ever since you were little. Since I was little? Uh. Hidahat looks away awkwardly. With all of these unfamiliar people showing up, I don't know what's what. Amidst all of that, this guy stood up for me like he knew how I felt. That's somehow comforting. Tch. Quit wasting time and get to the point. Are you sure this is really the woman? No doubt about it. She definitely has stars in her eyes. I'll believe it when I see it with my own. Hey, woman, show me your eyes, now. The man called Scorpio pulls me hard by the arm. Shake him off, squeeze your eyes shut, look at Scorpio. I will say... squeeze them shut. <laughs> show me your eyes? What? I instinctively squeeze my eyes shut and Scorpio laughs. <laughs> Do you seriously believe that doing that will allow you to get out of this? Without showing me your eyes. Ridiculous. I don't have time for this level of stupidity. Ah, uh, he can see right through me. Without thinking about it, I shrug. Scorpio clicks his tongue. He inches towards me, forcing me closer and closer to the edge of the roof. There's no need to be scared of every little thing. This behavior is exactly the kind of thing that makes humans so irritating. I simply want to know about you. Reveal everything about yourself to me. No! Ah! I think Scorpio's, like, whatever it is that, what do you call it, his power is that he can read your mind or see everything you're thinking. Just then, I hear a scream, but it's different from the squealing that I heard earlier. I desperately look around. Don't climb up there! It's too high! Hurry and get down! I don't wanna! I wanna see the stars up close! When I turn to look, I see a little boy. He's climbed up onto the edge of the roof, and he's hanging off the side of the building. Just then, the wind blows and the little boy's body goes over the edge. W watch out! I instantly reach out, grab the boy by the arm, and pull him to me. But the force of his fall is too much. My body is pulled over the side of the roof. No, I'm falling! I reach out with my hands, but there's nothing to grab onto. I tumble from the roof into the air below. Oh no, if I fall from this high up, I'll... As I fall headlong towards the ground, the words I heard yesterday run through my mind. Follow me or don't, it's up to you. God, save me. Foolish human, we'll meet again. And when we do, you'll say that you'll be mine. Please, come with us. Actually, you must come with us. It's your destiny. I'd like another chance. I want your heart to belong to me and only me. There's no one else with eyes that beautiful. You're the goddess I've been searching for. You, you have stars in your eyes. You and Leo talked all night last night. How about you and I have some fun tonight? Come with me, serve me. I choose. E Leon, of course. Are we going to get the forbidden end or the blessed end? Story one. I'm gonna die. Help! Leon! In my heart of hearts, I instantly cry out for help. 
For some reason, it's Leon's name that I call. Good decision. I hear a familiar voice, that moment strong arms wrap around my falling body. How? Foolish human, I heard your wish. H his face is so close. B but how? Don't squirm, I could let you go right now. Leon acts like he's gonna let go of me. I I'm sorry, don't drop me. You give a lot of orders, woman. Still carrying me, Leon floats upward. Wait a minute, am I floating? H hey, what if everyone sees us? That won't be a problem. Tio, stop time. Stop time? He says that like it's no big deal. Can these guys really stop time? Well, Tio can, because that's his secret ability. I'm so confused. I don't know what's what anymore. Without bothering to answer my question, Leon lands on the roof. Back on the roof, Hiori and the others are all frozen, just like Leon said that they would be. Has time really stopped? The other gods look a bit surprised as they watch us land. I can't believe Leo really saved her. That was her wish, you all heard it too. But for her to pick you, how terribly stupid. <laughs> Excuse me? I remember when I first played his route, I was like, yeah, I think I am kind of stupid for picking him. <laughs> this is probably it for her, she's doomed. Doomed? Is it really that bad? He has been awfully intimidating. Hey, Leo, can I start time again? Sure, I don't mind. Have you thought of an excuse, woman? Excuse? Well, I stopped time after you fell off the roof. Everyone frozen here clearly saw you fall from the roof. So, when they see that you're safe... Hurry it up, Tio. Jeez, you're so impatient, Leo. Leon observes my confusion, the corner of his mouth curling up into a smile. Taurus snaps his fingers... Suddenly, time is moving again. Kayla! Kayla fell off the roof! What? K Kayla, you're safe! Oh, um... Didn't you just fall off the building? How did you get here? This is why he wanted me to come up with an excuse. Uh, th this guy saved me. I instantaneously latch onto Leon's arm. He looks down at me with cold eyes, inconspicuously shaking off my touch. Is he angry? What else was I supposed to say? Hiori doesn't notice a thing, though. She bows deeply in gratitude to Leon. You saved Kayla. Thank you so much. Hear that? He saved her. Awesome. How'd he do that? Leon and the others couldn't care less about the buzzing, curious crowd around us. Um... Thank you for sick. Boring. Um. Leon interjects, sharply cutting me off. His strangely intimidating gaze turns to me. I instantly want to look away. There wasn't even one iota of creativity in that excuse of yours. Hey, I was trying to thank him. What's this guy's problem? Whatever. Enough playing around. Come with me. Huh? If you're going to follow me, you're obligated to serve me serve did you really think i was gonna save you for nothing <laughs> humans sure have a lot of nerve there are conditions weren't you obligated to save me i'm not gonna serve you okay i'm gonna go with the middle one uh, obligated you're a god aren't gods obligated to serve humans i don't know what you're thinking and i don't care but no one tells me what to do not even other gods the other gods do seem to speak to this guy with respect. This is all so sudden. Spend one night with me, and I'll let you go after that. Spend the night? Hmm, Leo, do you know what you have to do? I've got a pretty good idea. Meaning? Meaning, I can't imagine what kind of entertainment that weirdo king came up with. Let's get going. Leon grabs my arms and pulls me close. Go, go where? I still have work. It's like he doesn't even hear me. Leon snaps his fingers. Ah, it's been so long since I've seen this old mansion. The scene around me changes in an instant. I suddenly find myself in an unfamiliar place. A large mansion that looks like it's seen better days is before my eyes. What? What am I doing here? And how in the world did I get here? I was just on a rooftop. Well, where are we? You should be honored. You're the first human to ever set foot here. Is this where you and the others live? Gods live in this rundown old mansion? 
They must be lying about being gods. Wait, we did just teleport here. Confused, I stand behind Leon as he slowly opens the mansion's very large door. Wow! From the outside, the mansion looks dilapidated, like it's on the verge of collapse, but the interior is shockingly spacious and opulently decorated. Leon gestures for me to follow him. Terrified but unable to refuse, I follow him into a room. This place is so luxurious. It's like something out of a movie. I could imagine a king from a fairy tale living here. Well then, time for some entertainment. Entertainment? Before I can even turn around, he, he pulls me to him. I hear him snap his fingers. The bow, the bow, the bow on the front. Okay, it's bow this time. <laughs> I always miss a bow and bow. The bow on the front of my uniform comes untied. The buttons on my blouse start to come undone. Huh? What? I'm only just able to keep my blouse on. For every button I manage to snap back into place, another one goes popping open. Wh why? What is happening? Don't go putting them back on. You're missing the point. Leon snaps his fingers again. This time my skirt starts to come unzipped. Again? Could his snaps really be doing this? I shove the zipper back down to its proper place and finish fixing the buttons on my shirt. What the hell does this guy think he's trying to do? Leon looks down at me as I snap the final button into place and he looks disinterested. Will you stop doing whatever the hell it is you're doing? Quiet. Don't talk. Try harder to amuse me. Amuse you? I stare back at him totally bewildered and absolutely aghast, but Leon's gaze only grows colder. I'm growing rather tired of this. What? That face, he's totally mocking me. It's like he's saying, what was the point of hiding my body? Suddenly overwhelmed by all of this, I sink down to the floor. Why is this happening? Before I can argue back, Leon reaches out and grabs my arm. The second he pulls me up, a sweet shiver of pleasure spreads throughout my body. <laughs> okay, so Leon's power is that he can basically make girls feel pleasure with just looking at them, basically. So that's what he's doing here, and I'm not going to read that. You changed your tone. No one has ever denied the power I was born with. Not even the most noble of goddesses, women infinitely more noble than yourself. The power he was born with? Just being touched by him makes me feel so... Is this his power? I've never felt pleasure like this before. I'm overwhelmed. I can't even speak. Leon's fingers glide over my skin, tracing a line down my neck. It's like everywhere he touches comes alive. I stifle a moan, barely keeping it from escaping my lips. I know I shouldn't give in, but I can't resist. No, this man is a total stranger to me. I don't want him to see me like this. Cut it out! Enough of your blithering. I'll give you pleasure, and then I'll return to the heavens. Give me pleasure and return to the heavens? What is he trying to say? Why, why would doing this to me let you return? There's no need for you to know anything more than you already do. What? No way, please stop, do as he says. Um, I guess I'll just like go along with it for this one, since last time we protested. I don't think it went that well for us. His touch does feel truly incredible. Maybe I'll just do what he says. It begins to cloud my mind. No, stop! What a pitiful human, clinging to your insignificant pride. Hey! I can't take this much longer. I feel myself beginning to go weak in the knees and can't resist Leon anymore. I look up at him in silence as he lays me down. Let yourself get swept away. There's nothing so incredible as this, is there? I... I... Every time his fingers touch my skin, something inside me throbs. I feel like I'm melting. But unlike me, Leon hasn't changed at all. He's still dead serious. Why? Huh? It doesn't feel like I'm returning to the heavens at all. What more must I do? <laughs> Leos have, like, obviously a bad rap for being really vain. So it's, it's funny how they portrayed that here. <laughs> more what more could he possibly do that's impossible shut up i shake in fear at the sound of his shockingly deep tone i never asked for your opinion humans should bow down before the gods 
Leon turns stern. He must be irritated that he can't return to the heavens. I've got to get out of here somehow. I can't take any more of this. Leon seems to be thinking about how to get back to the heavens. Now's my chance. I sit up and make a desperate dash for the door, but I'm still experiencing the afterglow of Leon's pleasure. It's hard to run. <laughs> I can't believe they made that his power. No one else has like that weird of a power. Typical human. I'm a god, or have you forgotten already? I hear a snap behind me. Oh no, something else is gonna happen, I just know it. I reach the wall and turn around. Nothing has happened to either Leon or me. What? I don't know what's going on, but I've had it up to here with this whole god crap. I'm out of here. I dash out of the room. With my body finally back to normal, I run down a long, long hallway. I've been running for forever. I don't know where I even am. I just need to get out of this mansion and run to a police station. Police? But this guy is a self-proclaimed god. Oh, I saw this when I first arrived. A familiar sight spreads out before my eyes. I'm an escape. I just need to focus on getting away safely. I'm nearly to the front door. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Just then. Finished running already? <gasps> I turn around in shock to see Leon leisurely turning a corner. He moves towards me with languid steps. It's like he's trying to communicate that he doesn't have to rush. I don't think you're ever going to get back to the heavens, no matter what you do to me. I don't need your opinion. You should worry about making yourself useful to me. Has anything ever made you happier than being touched by a god? That didn't make me happy at all. I'd rather you just let me go home. I shake my head and spit the words angrily. A corner of Leon's mouth twists up into a half smile when he notices the rage seeping into my words. I thought it would be a pain to associate with a noisy little goldfish like you, but that anger of yours, I like it. It's rather amusing. Good for you, but I'm still not having any fun at all. I glower at him, and before I know it, my back's hit the wall. Leon stares into my face as he lifts an arm, leaning on the wall, and with a thud to trap me. Cut it down, Foolish human. What am I ever going to do with you? Um, how about you just let me get the hell out of here before I get seriously pissed off? He watches me with the eyes of a predator observing its prey. A chill runs down my spine. I just want to go home. Why is this happening to me? To be continued. Oh, I got forbidden. I think bless is slightly better. I don't know. Foolish human. What am I ever going to do with you? Leon brings his face closer to mine. It's like he's enjoying my anger. Just let me go home, you nutcase. Ugh, talk about harsh. I can't believe we can't use our powers. The king comes up with some dastardly ideas. I wish he would have warned us earlier. This is going to be such a pain. My head snaps up at the voices. Everyone gasps when they walk into the door. I am going to go ahead and cut this episode here. Let me know what you guys think so far. I know. Leon seems atrocious. He seems like an awful guy, but I swear he turns it around, okay? If you guys are excited for the rest of this series, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know so it would really help me out, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! I've dreamt about you every night. <laughs> You're the cutest turtle I've ever seen. She's all I think about. But the fact remains that I'm the winner of the bet. Uh, why me? 
I guess we'll have to play a fun little game of how long you can go without making a sound. This is why I love you so much. You're a real working woman now, contributing to society. <laughs>